Well, I just sold another computer, an old Pentium 4, 50 bucks. So that's free money, and I like that. So uh, I'll show you here what I got. I didn't buy anything, but a friend of mine brought her uh, shit down for me to take a look at. So I'll show you what she brought. I don't even know what's in this bag yet. I haven't looked, but we'll take a quick gander. Uh, all right. Huh. She must be getting rid of some junk or something. I'll have to give her a call. Ask her what the heck that's all about. She didn't mention anything about a iPod sort of cheapy little you know, music player do dead. Um, I was expecting this though. A fairly nice keyboard. And it's even uh, USB. Sweet. I have a keyboard, but this one's actually a little better than the one I have. Of course, mine um, is PS2, which frees up a USB port, so I don't know if I'll use that or not. I probably will, though. Holy sheep shit, I was expecting a netbook. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty. So... What it is, is she bought this computer on Kijiji for $80. I guess I can get rid of that because there's nothing in there. So like I said, she, she bought this computer on Kijiji for $80. And uh, it won't work. She couldn't get it to work, so she wanted me to take a look at it. Ah, uh, Windows 7. Hmm, that's actually a pretty nice uh, laptop for, for $80. So I'm not really surprised that it doesn't work properly. I guess it will turn on and all that jazz, but... Uh, you must not have known which power cord was for what, but anyway, let's take a gander in this box. See what the heck's in here. Dell. Something from Dell. Oh, a desk. Utility drivers and utilities. Alright. Okay, I get you. I see. Well, maybe I don't see. She said she had another hard drive that she wanted me to look at. Hmm. She's over at, at my ex's place, so I'm going to have to give her a call and ask her what all this guff is about. I know she wanted me to try to get pictures and stuff off of one of her one of her old hard drives, but I'm not sure if that's it. So I give her a call in a minute, but let's hit the power button on this old thing and uh, see what happens. Maybe nothing happens. Is there a friggin' battery in it? Battery in it. Uh, let's see what it's got on it for Windows Home, Windows 7 Home Premium. I don't have a disk. I don't have a disk for Windows 7 Home Premium, but um, I think we can get her done anyway. Well, I'm glad I called her. I got a few things clarified. And one is... That's not the computer. I thought it was, I thought it was a little too nice to, uh, to be eighty dollars. This is actually her nephew's computer. She just popped that in the bag because he wanted to get it sped up a little bit. So, uh, so yeah, this is actually his computer, and. 
she might have forgot hers. Hers is a little net book, so. So what I think I'm going to do with this one is I'll uh, set it back to factory settings because I doubt that anybody's ever screwed with it. I can probably just uh, press a couple buttons, let it go through its shit, and it should be good to go. A few videos on YouTube, they said to press F8, but you actually have to press Alt and F10 on this model. So, if you're trying to press F8, holy shit. Um, yeah, I keep getting this error. I'm not sure exactly what the heck the problem is, but uh, edit Windows boot options for Windows setup. Please complete operating system setup process before doing system recovery. What in the hell is that supposed to mean? Alrighty, so I finally figured out how you uh, restore this thing to factory settings. So you go to Acer, and then go to Acer eRecovery Management. I'm not going to do it because, uh, you know, I just don't want to. But Alrighty, so... This action will erase all data on partition Acer. Click OK to continue. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through watching all this shit, so I'm going to go and do a little something on my own computer while this is uh, doing its thing. So if I have any troubles or anything um, outrageous happens, I'll come back and I'll show you. But Otherwise, I'll just uh, come back when it's all done. I'll show you that that it's done and ready to roll. Well, that's two more down. Not out the door yet, but uh, I didn't quite get them done in time, so she had to leave. But, uh, yeah, that one there was fairly easy after I figured out how to, how to get into the recovery uh, partition. And the model number, just in case I forget to say, is uh, it's an Acer Aspire 5749Z. Anyway, that one's all back up and running. Everything's updated. It's all ready to go. And this one here, I have to update the antivirus. I was thinking I might take um, AVG off of here and put on uh, Windows Security Essentials or whatever it's called. So now I go through the defrag on this thing and see if that makes any difference. If it doesn't, I don't think there's a recovery partition on this one so probably not going to be able to restore it but I do what I can anyway. Oh, and I should show you another thing before I go. I'm going to spin my chair around here. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to recover that hard drive, the data from it. And I have a program here called Active Partition Recovery and it's been able to find most of the files that are on that hard drive but there are some that that are bad so if you can see right here there's some bad um, I don't know what it is sectors I guess but anyway I think I'm gonna be able to recover her pictures and I don't think she's got any videos or anything on here. Mostly like family pictures and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to go and get this shit done so I can play around on the internet instead of frigging around with these computers. <laughs>